Hello, in this video I'm going to do a demonstration of energy trading in blockchain using SPB method. You can find the link of the paper below to find out more about the basic concepts and differences of SPB with the other uh, existing solutions. Uh, we, we demonstrate two scenarios. First, we assume that there is no malicious entity in energy trading. So in our testnet we have three uh, net nodes. So uh, we have one miners in the network, which is uh, this run in this time node, so we have an energy consumer which runs in ETH1 and we have an energy producer which is runs in ETH2. So this node is doing the mining and represents the blockchain. So we first, in the first step, we'll just deploy the contract um, in the energy, consu uh, energy consumer. So we'll just deploy the contract. Yeah, and then you can check if the contract is been mined. So it still it doesn't have an address. So yeah, so now it's mined, and we have the address of the contract and the functions. So in step two, we'll send the CTP request through the blockchain and uh, CTP transaction to the blockchain. So we send the CTP to the address of this node. So then we can check. So this is the address of this node, so actually it's here in the CTP request. And this is the address of the node and we're paying two ethers. So we're just checking the account, the balance um, of the account of this node. Yep. And we'll just send the CTP transaction. So we can use the CLT function to see if the transaction has been mined. It's just a public function. Yeah, so the CTP transaction is now stored. So, so we've done this the second step, and now in the third step, the energy uh, producer will receive the CTP and will create the trans um, and will send to energy. So please note that then because we are all running this demo on the Ethereum, so it's a bit different with the tech um, with the concepts in the paper. So actually in the paper we've discussed that we have a CTP da database. Uh, and actually this transaction is not mined in the blockchain this does not uh, require this time to wait so but for this the matter of this demo we're just using ethereum and we'll just rely on ethereum so now we assume that the energy uh, transferring is done and then we'll just send the erc transaction so again the energy producer energy consumer has to send the erc transaction confirming that it has received the transaction and uh, the energy Done. So now we can check the balance of this node. And once it's mined, yeah, the node has been paid for the amount of energy that is transferred, which was 20 ethers. So now in the next scenario, we'll assume that the energy producer is a malicious node, and after receiving the CTP, it avoids sending the energy. So Let's go through the next one. So in the, we've already deployed the contract, so we don't need to do it again. So in the second step, we just send the new CTP uh, again to the same address of that node. Um, just send the CTP. Then if we just check the balance of this node.
yeah, how the CTP is stored, and then then check the balance of this node. So now we're assuming that the energy um, producer actually has received the CTP transaction, but it does not send um, the energy. So the consumer would not, uh, the smart meter of the consumer would not generate an ERC transaction. And instead, after the timeout, it will create a timeout transaction uh, requesting for a refund from the blockchain. So then we can do the timeout by sending a timeout request to the blockchain. Okay, and then we can just check the status and we'll see that the fund is returned to the account and you can see that this node has paid nothing and just the fund has been returned to the account. Thanks.